What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today guys, we're doing the in-depth review of the BD Diesel TS booster. That is their throttle sensitivity booster, their Gen 3. And we've been running this for a while now. I will put a link to the install video down first comment. Now let's get into this video. We're getting started right now. But first YouTube, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and don't forget to hit the bell so you get all the notifications about future uploads. And one last shameless merch plug guys, down in the description for t-shirts, hit that Amazon store if you wanna get your 6.0 bro gear. For those of you that don't know, the TS Booster just increases the throttle sensitivity that you have with your truck. It can either reduce it or increase it, at least the one from BD Diesel can. And I really like the idea of the security mode and actually the decreasing in throttle sensitivity as opposed to increasing it. For those of us that have run tuned trucks out on the road and have had a fair amount of power to them, sometimes when you're driving in rain and crap, you actually wanna decrease it, but you don't wanna upload a new tune just for a few days later to put your race tune or your street tune back in. So one of the nice things I haven't actually heard anyone else talk about is the idea of being able to decrease it being a good thing. So I thought that was cool because this truck is gonna get tuned on top of having this throttle sensitivity switch. And this will kind of give me the ability to switch, to really kind of fine tune to how I feel like driving that day or giving the weather conditions or to increase my throttle sensitivity in case we're doing donuts in the snow. And I've gotten a lot of questions since the release of the other video. If you can actually run this on top of tuning, you can. So there is no issue with running this in conjunction with aftermarket tuning as well. I plan to do it and I know a lot of other guys that are currently doing it and really enjoy the ability to fine tune how they want their throttle. But I have really enjoyed the ease of being able to switch between the modes. And again, it's clean, it's out of the way. So I'll show you guys how I have that hooked up here in a second. And in the other video I did, I kind of went through how to switch between the modes. It's pretty simple, plus and minus. That is until you get to ludicrous or when you're going into the security and valet modes. It's a little bit different, but again, the video that is linked in the description to the BD throttle sensitivity booster, which was the initial video, will go into how to do those things. Now that has been enough of me just talking and not driving. Why don't we hop in the truck here? I'm gonna take you guys for a little drive and review some of the modes and what I like about them specifically. Okay guys, here we go. We're getting started. We are starting on, what are we start? Eco mode. So the eco mode isn't terrible. I will say it's definitely that. It's reserve, it's a negative 25% decrease, or I guess negative. It's a 25% decrease in throttle input or sensitivity. And I will say on long trips, I have actually noticed a little bit of a bump in fuel economy. I've tried this several times over several like couple hundred mile road tests so i probably have like 600 ish miles on the economy mode or eco mode and on long trips you don't really notice it because you're typically just kind of on at least i'm on cruise control a lot so on those long trips so it's not really bad and nice little bump between a half mile if I'm really lucky, I have seen close to a mile per gallon more on long trips. I haven't seen a huge difference around town, but I don't do a lot of in-town driving, so maybe that's why. But it's not bad. Now, the real reason I actually really like this feature, this feature of being able to decrease throttle input, I touched on it earlier, really has to do with when we do some tuning on the truck. It'll be nice to not have to worry about changing tunes in certain weather conditions, meaning you can run a little bit higher of a tune if you prefer to do that, but decrease your throttle input so you're not all over the road while you're driving. You know, like if I'm shooting a video or something like that, but all the time it can be a little frustrating. It's fun, but it's not always fun. So I like that ability to be able to do that. Now we're gonna go up in tune to the street. And I would, if I can hold my camera still. So the street is probably my favorite overall setting. This is what I drive hands down the most right now. 
and it's just a lot of fun it wakes the truck up you don't feel like you're driving something so slow anymore sure these trucks aren't you know race cars i'm gonna i'm probably gonna make my white six liter a race truck but that's that's a whole nother topic anyway so these trucks aren't race trucks but they should be fun to drive they make a lot of power over 800 pound feet of torque from the factory and we we got to wake that up a little bit which reminds me guys stay tuned till the end for you six liter guys we have something special to talk about with these throttle sensitivity boosters for you guys as well now sport really starts to kick it up a little bit please get on your side of the road sir Now, Sport is a 75% increase in throttle response, and let me tell you, you really feel it. And again, it's still very manageable to drive. It's not bad at all, but it's you get a nice increase in your driving experience, shall we say. I'm really blown away by how much it really does do in this vehicle, because I got to tell you, I was really skeptical at first. I was interested in them, but I just didn't think it would change the driving experience so much. But now the real fun starts in race mode. So race mode, we're kind of done thinking something's happening because it is, wow. That one kind of got away from me a little bit. This person in front of me is probably not real thrilled with my antics at the moment. I gotta say, these are all really smooth. Like it's not jerky or it's really done just super well the whole driving experience with this i love the t i love this whole booster and i love all the modes and i don't always go through them all the time but when you throw it in race mode it is just a lot of fun it's so responsive and honestly unless you've been in one of these with a booster and tuning you would think that this is a tuned truck in the sport and the race mode it's really really cool and again, I love the ability that I have different modes I can use and choose from and really fine tune what kind, what kind of driving I feel like doing that day. And it's not hard to do, it's just right there. You guys saw where it is. It's nice, it's easy to get to. Again, guys, it just pulls super nice, it's fun. And again, when you need that little bit of an edge when you're driving street light to street light or down the track, this is an awesome, awesome product to have. I love it. Now we are gonna stop here in a second and we are going to go into ludicrous mode because I can't let you guys down and not talk about that for a second. Now this one, it's a little harder to drive sensibly on. Now, two things there, I don't know if you heard, but you know, spun the tires a little bit, nothing super major. Don't, don't get me wrong, I'm keeping it in perspective, guys. I'm literally just tapping the throttle. Like, you have to feather the throttle so much in this mode. It's, if you're gonna go goof around, this is the mode to drive in because it is so much fun. Daily driving it, I'd probably get a little tired of it because I, don't want to do that every time I try to pull out somewhere but for this kind of stuff this is fun just having a good time while driving and goofing around on some back roads all right now we got advanced track off wow. I will say I really miss not having to deal with crap like advanced track and nonsense that was so much more entertaining to do like burnouts and crap. Anyway, so everything's going good here, guys. Really enjoying it again. I highly recommend it doing a... I got it, guys. It completely changes the vehicle. I highly recommend this product. So for our six liter guys here, because again, we do a lot of six liter stuff. I didn't forget about you just because I have a six seven. We still have the six O and it will, it will rise again. But anyway, guys, they're gonna be releasing this for the 0304 six liters as well. And that should be coming 
in the, actually the next like three weeks that should be released. That was the, that's the most up-to-date information I have on it. You definitely gotta be a little careful driving with Ludacris on. Again, a lot of fun, eh, a little careful. But anyway, so that should be coming out for the 0304. I know there was a bunch of guys that were at saying, oh, they don't make it for them. They already make it for the 05 through 07s, but they didn't make it for the early ones. They are fixing that here in the very near future, guys. So if you watched that video and you were thinking, oh man, I really want that, but I have an 0304 like myself. I am personally one of the 0304 guys. Well then guys, it is gonna be here before you know it. So keep an eye on their website. It's gonna be coming up. Drop your comments down below. Let me know what kind of videos you want to see next. Live stream coming in another week. We're going to be doing every other week live streams. Hope you guys are enjoying that. I hope you guys have enjoyed the live streams that we've been doing lately. I know I've been having a blast with them. Our goal, guys, is to have the biggest live stream we ever had next week. If you guys haven't already, smash that subscribe button. Give this video a big thumbs up. Comments down below, guys and I'll see you in the next upload.